A New Zealand politician got hit in the face with a dildo from an opponent. Now, this person is actually very upset at uh, the economic development minister. His name is Stephen Joyce because he voted in favor of TPP. As you guys know, we've been very critical of TPP as well. But this unidentified woman took it to another level when she did this. Absolutely, we always take something away from everything. Okay? That's for raping our sovereignty. So it's hard to really distinguish what it is about TPP that she doesn't like. We've had lengthy discussions on the show about how it gives too much to pharmaceutical companies, especially since they're able to patent certain drugs for a longer period of time so generic versions can't come out. Lots of little elements like that that really do have an impact on those who are poor and those who can't afford uh, certain things that they need to survive. She mentioned sovereignty in that. Uh, she did mention that. So let me give you her full quote. She says, that's for raping our sovereignty. That's for raping our country because of the TPPA and selling our rights and our freedom, the angry penis-wielding woman screamed, referring to the controversial Trans-Pacific Partnership, which was signed yesterday in New Zealand. Now, the sovereignty part of that mm -hmm. could relate to a lot of the environmental details associated with TPP, as you, you're aware. Uh, it gives a lot of the sovereign rights of even the uh, United States of America away to uh, foreign countries that will come here and do everything from mineral and oil exploration to anything, a bunch of other things that you'd think, well, we have control of it ultimately. No, not anymore. Under this agreement, uh, literally... We couldn't be sued by a foreign power for mineral rights that they've acquired in, in, wow. in, in a state in, in the U.S. So maybe that uh, is part of – I would see the overlap, certainly, when it comes to sovereignty in that well, regard. Well, the sovereignty, it goes to – it's already uh, – there's already deals like, for instance, they uh, with oil tankers, right? So they put a regulation, hey, we need to have double-hulled oil tankers, right? So there's not just one layer of uh, steel, there's two, so it's harder to – but there's a lot of tankers that just have one. So if you pass, like in Seattle, they pass the law, you can't bring single-hold oil tankers into our harbor. Well, they go to the world court and they say, hey, according to the TPT, we can't. So we don't get to say what comes in our country. Right. Some other foreign world court. The exact thing that the right wing is worried about Barack Obama doing, mm -hmm. they're all doing together. Yeah, they are all doing it together. They which are. Which is why, uh, look, most of their criticisms of the Obama administration is political theater. It's yes. not genuine because they do the same thing and to be quite honest with you obama is such a moderate democrat that he does a lot of the things that republicans want him to do he's done so many concessions especially when it comes to agreements like tpp especially when it comes to you know corporate tax loopholes and all that stuff and, not regulating and the, the banking system yes. mm -hmm. so it's all disingenuous but let's get back to the dildo it's always amazing <laughs> to me that dildos make appearances in political stories like this and it, it involves someone discarding a dildo don't throw the dildo away keep the dildo it's useful <laughs> You mean right? put a string on it like a yo-yo, so you hit up and bring it right back? Even better. You then it, you can reuse it. Talk about yank crankers. I love the effectiveness <laughs> of a dildo. What I mean, she's found the one thing that you can throw at this politician to really get this kind of discussion yes. going. To show that I mean, he's raped. What? Right. Thank you. Raped their sovereignty. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, it really is... Clever. I mean, I, you know, look, George Bush, they threw a shoe at him. It was the tradition, of, you know, yes. in, in, over there to, to do that, uh, to, you know, show your protest by throwing a shoe. But the dildo, far better. I mean. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I, look, I think it's funny, but there's also that worry that someone might actually get hurt. Like, I don't condone any type of assault. Like, that's assault. You can't throw shit at people. Well, I thought right? actually you were going to play the other way, which is if it did it here, it would be bam, 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 bam. And now oh, she's dead. I mean, that point. is a, that is a good far point. more likely scenario than. In the U.S., absolutely. Yeah, yeah it would that's be. That's sc scary would, to think about. Dildo shaped bullets, right? I wish they're already shaped like dildos, I guess. Mm. I, I feel Good like I feel insight, like Jimmy. we would be more willing to regulate dildos in this country than regulate guns. Oh, definitely. I think I think there were some Especially the squirty ones. There were some Oh god. <laughs> there were some uh, municipalities that had outlawed um, sex toys. I forget exactly which um, like county it was, but it's happened before in the US, which is amazing. Like we'll outlaw sex toys, but we won't outlaw those guns.